Hey guys, I'm back to you with another reading. This is going to be a Twin Flame soulmate reading and I'm going to do like one side where it's the Divine Masculine, which is where I'm starting, and then the Divine Feminine, some of the combining energies between the two, and then also some advice. And I'm also going to get some cards out for messages between both of you guys too, so that way I can give you guys more clarity and so that way you can kind of know like what's going on with them like in the 3D, uh, 3D realm. But anyway, okay, so in terms of like what the divine mass is going through and what he's feeling is like he's wanting to rush in impulsively to communicate. He wants to communicate so bad. He may also be like trying to keep tabs on you in some kind of way, whether that's on social media, through friends or family. I'm just going to say he has ways. And for those people who are thinking, oh, I have him blocked, like I have him or her blocked, like they can't find my page. Um, they have ways to be able to do that. I just want to let you know. Uh, not just through fake pages, but they are watching you. They're trying to figure out like what's going on in your life. If you've moved on, if you're hurting as much as they are, because like something else you don't know is they're they're really fucking heartbroken because of the fact that you guys had that and had the separation that is that you guys because you got they're upset because you guys are in separation right now and they're feeling the pain like they're feeling the agony. They're sad. They've been really fucking depressed. Um, just I'm also picking up like you're just really apathetic about life. Um, for those of you where it's like a third party situation, they are not happy over there. You're thinking that everything's fine because of like what you're seeing, but intuitively you're picking up energetically like they are not cool. They, you even notice that they pull on your energy and have a tendency to talk to you a lot because they're not happy over there. They're having, they're having like, especially if they're like living with this person, it is not a good home life. So it's one of those things where like on the outside, it looks fucking amazing and it looks good on paper, right? Behind closed doors, there's a bunch of arguing. There's a bunch of fights. It's just, it's not, it's not good for any of them. And then on top of that, um, there's just, it's very toxic in terms of like their communication with one another. And I mean, they can even be having issues with finances or, or they have shared finances and they're trying to work those things out. And it's just, yeah, he also like your, your masculine also, he also feels like he's put in so much work in this and like every time he tries to make it work, it just doesn't, it just keeps falling flat on his face. And he's like wondering okay, uh, how do I handle this situation? Like, I'm not happy over here. I feel fucking miserable. It sucks over here. I don't want to be over here anymore. What the hell do I do? And it's sad because the way that this relationship is, especially because it's a toxic relationship between him and like the third party for y'all who have third, par third party situations, is that's mainly what I'm picking up on with this. Uh, it's causing him to become insecure. And he was already dealing with insecurities already as is, and now it's making his insecurity even worse. And he's feeling lower about himself, which is making it where he's not even having confidence, especially having confidence to be able to come to you. So there's that that's going on as well. He's also dealing with a lot of delays and obstacles. I think every time he tries to even think or tries to put a step forward to come towards you, he's being met with some type of obstacle or he's being met with some type of tower movement. Some of this also has to do with stubbornness because the fact is he didn't want to change. He wanted to be in his pride and his ego and... He wanted to think that he was right, even though, like, there were things that he did that was pretty messed up. Um, he didn't want to look at himself. And so Spirit's like, okay, well, we're going to take you on an adventure and, like, a journey and, like, a journey of self. And we're about to show you some things about yourself that you didn't realize so you can work through them. So it's like they want to try to, some of them want to try to rush and skip all the steps to be able to come back to you. But Spirit's like, no, you need to go through these things first. You need to change these first things first before I can even allow you to go back to your divine feminine. Um, yeah, they're stuck on the past. They are constantly thinking about you night and fucking day. Like looking at your pictures, reminiscing, like just thinking about all the memories that you guys had. Like they are stuck on the past. <laughs> they're also trying to strategize and come up with some type of options or maybe see about getting some type of opportunities because like they're trying to like come up with opportunities to be able to come in and like be successful with being able to talk to you but every single time they're noticing again that they're blocked they're not victorious it's not happening spirits like pitting a hard ass no on that saying no you need to do the work stop trying to avoid doing the work it's like they don't want to go within themselves and face their wounds they don't want to face their traumas their triggers they don't want to face any of that yeah, I'm definitely getting grieving vibes from this too. Like, one, they're, uh, your masculine is having a hard time because, you know, the whole third party situation.
But then two, it's also a thing where if it, if <laughs> it's kind of like a slow, a slow unalive, you know, because there's so many swords in his back. He's like, I can't take any more. This hurts too much. I, if I, I can't take any more pain, like this is too much. This, but this ending between y'all really, really, really affected your masculine. So like, and also like what I'm hearing and seeing too is it's a thing where he's acting as if everything's fine and putting on a happy face around friends and family, but behind closed doors, he's not fine. He's not being able to sleep. He's restless. And he's upset that like he has these, like he feels the way he does for you and like is experiencing the pain from this separation and trying to act like everything's fine and keep it together even though behind closed doors, he's not okay. I'm also picking up too, he's like picking, he's spending a lot of time by himself too because I'm also seeing the hermit card. He also wants to be able to let his guard down with you, but it's not just that, like, he let his guard down when it came to you, but he also knows that because of the things that it is that he was doing in your connection, that's what caused the heartbreak and the ending between y'all. Okay, so that's it, that's it for masculine, y'all. That's all I got for the masculine. I'm going to talk about divine, uh, the <laughs> combining energies over here, because I also have some combining energies over this way too. But okay, so both of you feel like you had to put a lot of work into this or you're realizing like damn okay in order for us to be able to work through our issues and stuff you even possibly have like to be able to possibly come back together if we're meant to this is a lot of work you're having to do a lot of work you're having to face a lot of your fears you guys both want to do beginning with one another but you feel like it's blocked off and a lot of you are also wanting this ten of cups but again like you feel like that's even blocked off like you just feel like you're not gonna be able to get that emotional fulfillment the family life, all, you know, all the stuff that is that you've ever, like, dreamed of having, like, you feel like you're not gonna be able to get that, even though that's what you want with your person. Okay, so my divine fans, what's up? Okay, so for y'all, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Okay, so for you guys, you guys are not doing well emotionally because you are feeling your divine masculine pull on your energy a lot and you're feeling your divine masculine's energy and you're trying to do what you can to be able to stay balanced emotionally but you're having a hard time doing that if you, and even pouring into yourself i'm hearing some of you may be having a few issues lately not like exactly like with just like mental health but like with taking care of yourself um a lot of you also been dealing with like a lot of internal conflict and just exhaustion like a lot of you are just like thinking night and day about this too and you're trying to think and like you're trying to look at things logically and be able to look at it from a higher perspective but it's like your mind's just constantly just going you have a very overactive mind you guys a lot of you are also dealing with like insomnia right now too because you're not being able to sleep because you're constantly thinking about this trying to figure out okay well what's next what's going to happen some of you are even just sitting there trying to get answers like through your spiritual team or through tarot and stuff too because you don't know what's next or what to happen and then you're getting conflicting messages because you having some messages are saying oh yeah you can trust your divine masculine and then you got other messages saying oh no you can't trust them and it just you're trying to learn discernment. And I want to say that spirits also do that purposely so that way you can be able to trust your intuition more because you're actually a lot, you actually are more spot on than you actually know or believe. That's what they're trying to tell you. You're also trying to work on like being more happy. A lot of you also are doing a, a good job of like working through a lot of your inner child wounds as well. Like you're getting more into with your inner child and loving on your inner child more and allowing your inner child to express itself more. You're just overall happy in that regard. You're just focusing on the, your passions despite the fact that you have a lot of the internal conflict going on a lot of you also are trying to build a routine like a traditional routine and you may be having a hard time like accommodating yourself when it comes to that um i'm hearing like for the newer divergence out there like you can't do like stuff the way that everybody else does like the newer typicals because you're meant to do it differently you have to do it in the way that fits you. So if someone's saying do that, you don't have to do that. You have to do it in a way that helps you. Like if whether that's you listening to music and having headphones on while you're doing some other tasks. You know how you're like learning how your brain works and you're going to get the handle of that. But also this something else spirit wants to remind you is like, like spirit wants to also mention, ooh, excuse me, I keep having burps, confirmation burps. Okay. You're also very in tune and connected with like your higher self and spirit right now too. 
Like you're letting spirit guide you. You're receiving a lot of downloads and messages about this relationship as well. That's also, and I like hearing for some of you, like you're kind of like newer to this journey and you've been feeling crazy because you feel tied to this person. And so you're like, okay, what is this? What is going on? Why do I feel obsessed with this person? What the fuck is like, I, and like you're growing into your abilities, but you're also just trying to gain answers and clarity as well because it's confusing. Spirit wants to say, listen to what that first voice or that first initial instinct is because that is what the actual factual information is. That's the confirmation you need. Also, some of you may have been feeling a little insecure as of late too because like with what's been going on, especially you feeling like your mass and on your energy, you may be having like some blockages like in your sacral, solar plexus, heart chakra, and possibly throat chakra right now too. Um... And so you're not also believing yourself as a creator and feel like you can manifest what you want. Like you're doubting yourself, you're doubting your abilities, you're doubting your capabilities. Um, the spirit also wants to say like, you're, you're closing that out. But another thing too, like not only is that coming to an ending, but you, because of this ending that you had, you end up having some type of epiphany or things kind of got shooken up. These things had to be closed out though. You had to remove it because it wasn't making you happy. It was making you m miserable and it caused you to be out of alignment. Whether this was like you holding on to certain uh, habits or addictions or certain like friends or people in your life that you knew you weren't aligned with anymore and you may have tried to hold on to them. Um, and so things had to be shooken up for that because that change had to happen. And for a lot of you, it really scared you because it's made you feel very, very unstable financially like, like you've just been feeling like you've you just been haven't been feeling like very grounded and you've been trying to juggle and balance things too and you're keeping this a secret from a lot of people especially the fact that you're working on your stability so a lot of you are working on your finances or getting working on getting your finances up too um all right that's all i'm picking up for you the divine films that's it for that part of the reading i hope you guys enjoyed that and then we're gonna do go ahead and move to the mutual energies between you and your masculine. So first off, uh, this is basically kind of spirit trying to say like, if you guys are wondering if this is like your divine counterpart, or your soulmate, twin flame, yes. Yes, it is, okay? Uh, there's like counterparts. There's counterparts right here. But also, this is also an indicator to me to let me know that you guys were marrying. That's how I was able to figure out, okay, this is mutual energy between you guys. So give me one second, please. Okay, so one thing Spirit wants to make known is the reason why you guys are in separation right now is because there were certain cycles and certain things within yourself that you had to work on, like, you know, working on healing your wounds and working through your traumas and learning to be able to better, like, manage your twi triggers. But also, like, you guys weren't really trusting your intuition because you guys both were able to pick up on the fact that there was a really deep connection here between you two. And you guys are also feeling like a lack of closure and like you're like trying to listen to your intuition, but you're not trusting it because you're like, okay, you guys are both like, okay, well, you know, is this my person or is this not like, is this, is this a per is this like my twin flame or my soulmate? Like, like what the fuck is going on? Um, because like, I don't have any closure. This cycle has been closed out and I can feel that there's something more to this. Like you guys are both feeling that like, there's still like unfinished business there. You guys both have a lot of passion for each other and a lot like a lot of you have been dealing with a lot of really strong sacral root uh energy going on between you two and you've been trying to temper that uh like you guys are constantly thinking about each other in that kind of way not for everybody some of you aren't really thinking of like your your person like that but others of you uh yeah that's the night and day type of thing especially nighttime hearing uh some of you may even be feeling that energy exchange between you two Especially if one of you is uh, doing a certain deed, if you get what I mean. Like, solo. Anyway. <laughs> you guys also have a lot of deep love for each other. You're trying to, like, balance your emotions out on both ends. Because you guys are both dealing with a lot of stuff and trying to balance everything. Um, and then you guys also, like, feel and know that, like, with what's happening, like, you feel like things are not balanced between you guys. And you guys want to make things right between each other. And because of the fact that things aren't balanced, you guys aren't really in communication or really talking as much or in each other's lives, you guys are both feeling very burdened by this as well. 
and you're like, okay, I'm tired of this. Some of you, both of you are also holding on to some baggage because I'm hearing that both of you did something that caused pain to the other. I mean, they got hurt because like you guys walked like for the divine, like the divine masculines are hurt because the divine feminine walked away. That's like what I'm picking up on. Um, or for others of you, I'm hearing the divine masculine left and then the divine feminine's by herself. So, you know, fit the story way it fits, but yeah. And there's pain that's being held onto from that whole thing because you're like wondering, okay, you guys are both wondering, can I give them another chance? Can I trust them? And this is for also for those of you who like, who were kind of like really hurt about the situation. You feel like you can't really communicate right now. Like there's a block on communication and it's like, there's a lot that you guys both want to say to each other, but you feel like you can't right now, or you feel like spirits like kind of blocking communication, or you just feel like it's not the right time. Spirit wants to tell you to keep listening to your intuition on that because there's a reason for that. You guys are going to come back together, but there's certain little things that it is that you need to work on and that they're needing to work on before that can actually occur. Because remember, you guys are a unit and you're working through these different things together. Uh, but you also both are like trying to work on continuing pushing forward and moving forward anyway. You guys are both bored without each other. And that's something else that you could be hiding uh, around like friends and family and stuff. Acting as if you guys don't miss each other when you do. And so you're feeling like completely dissatisfied right now. And like uh, another thing I'm picking up too is like you guys could be like, oh my God, like I miss so and so. Like it's kind of a thing like that. Like that's what you're feeling internally. So you kind of feel like this longing and yearning for each other as well. Some of you are also thinking about, okay, maybe I should try to bring some type of, some type of like a little small offer or something to them. Um, I'm also hearing like someone may want to give you a gift as well. Like your person may want to gift you something or you guys are wanting to help each other out in terms of this in some kind of way. Some type of opportunity I'm hearing. I don't know if it's going to be like a business partnership or something, but there's something with collaboration. I'm surprised I'm not seeing like the three of pinnacles, but that's what I'm seeing in my mind's eye. Um, you guys have also both been very rest restless when it comes to like your mind. I mean, like I said, like I was studying the fact that you guys are always constantly thinking about each other and that happens all the fucking time. And you guys are also like stuck in your heads. You both are like dealing with not just like certain insecurities or fears. It's like I'm feel the biggest thing I'm picking up is fears because like you guys are both scared of hurting each other or getting hurt by the other again because like there's trust that may have been broken here also. Um, and so also the, the mental entrapment has to do with like, so it had, the mental entrapment has to do with like, okay, should I even trust this person again? Am I getting hurt? Like, are they trustworthy? Have they actually changed? Or are they gonna do the same thing that they did before? I don't wanna do the same tango. It's kind of a thing like that, but then also, like, you don't know if you can, should continue moving forward or if you, if you should stay and wait for this person. Like, a lot of you are trying to figure out, okay, is this my person? Should I trust this? Like, uh, there's a lot of doubt with, like, intuition, and that's kind of kind of coming back up to here. You guys are both doubting each other, into intuition in that regard also, because you don't know if that's actually like your twin plane or your soulmate or your divine counterpart, even though you know what you feel is actually real. Especially if the dream seems a lot realer than life and you still feel lingering feelings after you wake up, that shit's real. I just want to say that. Um, let's see, with the Ace of Pentacles, yeah, you guys both want this new, this new beginning, which is funny because like it's reminding me of like the fool that was over that way. Um, and you're like even like trying to ask the universe saying hey universe like please like i just want to get back with, her, with my person i want to be my person again but that's not happening right now because there's still some healing that needs to be done a lot both of you also like or at least one of you in particular i'm hearing like could have also been losing hope on this connection as well wondering okay well is this ever gonna be a thing again and it's like you're kind of losing faith you're losing hope in the situation you both are holding on to each other for dear life. Like, you can't let each other go at all. At all. And again, I feel like with this is, like, feel it, like you're... It could be a thing for some of you who, are like, you know, your finances are built up, but, like, you're still feeling, like, sad. You don't feel like you're happy in that environment with you being single because you miss your person. For others of you, it's a thing where you're feeling insecure, especially, like, about finances and about yourself, especially after what happened with this connection. And like, also you guys are both realizing too, that you had to go through this and that karma, like karma has already happened by the way. Like you guys are just working out different things, but um, you guys kind of like realized that this whole, this the karma had to happen 
in order for things to, to move, for, for things to switch up. Which, that change is coming quickly, and with the bottom of the deck energy, we got the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, this new beginning, this new change, this new cycle that you guys are about to begin is on the horizon. So that's one thing to look forward to. I am going to get some cards out for the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine in terms of messages. Okay, so that what the Divine Masculine wants you to know is, like what to tell you is that they are getting closer to completing this goal with being able to close these cycles out. So uh, those things are being completed. Also, I am tired of no contact and or when can I see you again? Release your resentment. This is kind of a reminder from Spirit, but this is also like your masculine wanting you to forgive them for what happened between you guys and how they hurt you. Uh, you haunt me. I was being immature. You, uh, I don't know how to approach you. Duality. So yeah, for those of you who like they're in another commitment, they're having to make a choice between you and that person and they have to leave that person. I took you for granted. Here's some initials also because this came out. K-L-M-N-O-P. I'm healing. Also, uh, sunrise, sun, moon, or rising. It could be Aries. Control freaker issues. Yeah, so the Divine Master wants you to know that they did try to control the way, the pace of this relationship between you guys. And they were trying to control how things were because they didn't want you to get close to them because of their own inner wounding. So more likely they have a, an avoidant attachment style or they could have anxious attachment style. But if they try to push you away, it was more like an avoidant. So that's one thing they uh, Spirit wants you to know. Also, uh, your Divine Essence asking, is it over? Guilt. Yeah, they feel guilty for like what they did and how they hurt you. For some of you, they feel guilty for making you a second choice or making you an option and pitting other people or other things before you. For some of you, it could have even been a thing where they pit like certain jobs or opportunities before you and your family. Because for some of you, I'm hearing like you guys were married or you guys have kids or both or etc. So I made the wrong choice. Yeah, they're like feeling guilty for making a choice to go after that. For the Divine Femmes, we got the answer no and i don't know like what this no has to do with but i think <laughs> i think you guys are like no don't come back like you you caused so much harm i don't really trust you or like believe in you anymore like how can i trust you after everything that is that you put me through i don't want to go through that type of shit anymore it's kind of a thing like that uh yeah that's exactly what it has to do with i still remember that day so yeah like you guys could also be like remembering like when you guys like officially stopped talking to each other and like what happened for some of you i'm here you guys could have gotten to like an argument uh others of you you just like ghosted like you left you didn't say anything some of you i'm even seeing that like you packed up like your whole place and like you left because some of you actually lived with your divine masculine uh others of you like you moved to like another city or state and i'm even here for some of you a whole nother ass fucking country so yeah, I'm trying to come up with the words to say to you. Are the feelings mutual? I'm not over you. I thought you were my enemy. Pay attention to your dreams. That's something that spirits wanted to say to you is pay attention to your dreams. Um, listen to your intuition. Let's see. I already said I'm not over you. Uh, I'm not the same person you remember me as. I don't like how much attention you receive from others. So yeah, there could have been some jealousy or you guys didn't like the fact that they were like entertaining other options while also trying to entertain you. So, some of you knew that that was happening. Others of you, they were kind of keeping a secret and didn't really tell you anything about it. So like you had a hunch and you sensed it, but you never really got proof of it. But you, you knew internally though. Um, I have something to take care of first before I come back. And I can't give you what you want. Yeah, so a lot of you divine feminists feel like you can't give the divine masculine what he wants in terms of like coming back because again, like the trust is broken, so you don't know if you can forgive him and let him back in again because you don't want to allow yourself to ha be heartbroken like that. You don't know if the same cycle is going to continue. You don't want a repeat of what happened before. Some of you I'm hearing like you're just get curious about like what's going on and like you're like already in another relationship or you're trying to move on. That's something else too. <coughs> All right, I'm also going to get, like, mutual things that you guys want to say, but also we got some more initials for you. So we got V, W, X, Y, and Z. And here's the mutual things that you guys want to say that you're thinking. I stay awake at night thinking of you. Also, for those of you, this could be sun, moon, or rising. We got Virgo. And again, here's some more messages. I can't hold back much longer. 
I don't know if I can let you in again. Yeah. You guys are both scared of letting each other in because you guys are both hurt by what happened because you guys didn't expect to fall for each other and to feel the way it is that you feel about each other and have so much care for one another. There's something I need to tell you. Yeah, and that's kind of like pinpointing like what I said earlier where like you guys are both wanting to communicate and talk, but there's certain things you guys both have to work out. But also, I'm going to say this too. The divine masculine has to come to the feminine to say something. It's whoever fucked up. Whoever fucked up, that's who's supposed to go and say something to the other. I'm just saying. That's something else Spirit wants me to say. In terms of advice, we got challenge your perception and be patient. Okay, so with challenge your perception, Spirit's wanting you guys, wanting to challenge you guys to look at things from a higher perspective. Not from a perspective where you are, like, your emotions are influencing you to make decisions or to think. They're wanting you to actually take time to settle in into your body. So grounding yourself, getting centered. Hell, you can even do a body scan if you want to. And they want you to go within and ask yourself questions about the whole situation, what you've learned, what you've noticed. And even look at the situation from a higher perspective. Like they, they're kind of wanting you to look at like not look at like what pain you went through. And so you can be able to continue healing that. And, and what happened with that but then all, like you know in terms of your own wounds like doing shadow work but they're also wanting you to look at this whole situation from a spiritual perspective hope that makes sense to you guys like i'm trying to say that without actually fully saying the full like meaning what i mean by that but i feel like it makes sense anyway the other thing is be patient spirit wants you to be patient for those of you who are like wondering, okay, when you guys gonna come? When are we gonna come into union? They're saying stop focusing on when when it's gonna happen. No, and just know it's going to happen. Continue holding your faith. Do not give up hope, and continue doing the work that is that you're doing. You're doing a great job. It's okay that you're focusing on them, but also don't forget to focus on yourself too. And also, I'm here for some of you like spirits saying like to fill your own cup. Don't forget to fill your cup. And I'm also hearing for some of you guys, like, go do something fun or go do something fun for yourself for Valentine's Day. I'm hearing that as well. Um, anyway, that concludes this reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day or night or whenever you see this video. Until then, peace, you guys.